This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. For a fact, I can get you home every weekend with reefer. Drive in would be a little bit more difficult. Flatbed would be more difficult. We do a lot of flatbed stuff across 70. Um, we do a lot of reefer stuff that goes right through your area because I'm doing a lot of reefer stuff out of uh, Newark, New Jersey. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Sharky Transportation. They have many divisions for you. Let's start off with drive-in, refrigerated. They also have local runs, regional runs, where you could be home every week. You can also be an owner operator and you can lease on with the company. They also have flatbed. And then, as always, OTR. They have different plans for you. Home weekly starts at 52 to 56. Midwest, 53 to 57. Uh, if you're out 15, if you're out 13, 15, three off, you get 55 to 59. And if you're out 23 days, you get five days off and you get 62 cent a mile. I see you guys got different divisions, uh, drive-in, flatbed, and um, and uh, reefer. But as far as flatbed goes, uh, do you guys train for that? Or like, say, for example, if I decide to come in and do drive-in and then I want to change over to flatbed, do you guys, do you guys train for that or how, how did that work? As long as where you live, you're in route for one of my flatbed runs, then yeah, we could do that. Okay, 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 okay. Well, I'm out of Ohio, and I I notice that you guys got routes from uh from the Midwest. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, if I read that right on the website, y'all y'all got Midwest routes. Do you guys got other routes as well? Bulk of my freight, but it's not everything. No, I do have some. Um, I do have some stuff. We're doing a lot of rural areas in the in the east uh, or the east coast with our flatbed stuff. For instance, we do a dedicated account with uh, with um, a company called Manchester Tank, and they make those LP tanks that you typically see out behind rural houses for heating. Okay, um, those those bit tanks. We, okay. Yes. Yeah, we deliver those. Uh, they're empty tanks, um, but they're uh, they're preloaded onto flatbed trailers, and then we've got. Uh, especially trucks that have a crane attached to the headache rack area of the truck. Mm -hmm. And you use that crane to offload them. Um, now that's a great paying job. Those guys are over a hundred thousand dollars a year plus, uh, because they're paid. They start off at 70 cents a mile, go to a dollar a mile. Once they hit 2000 miles, plus they're paid for every offload that they do. Um, the small tanks are $56. This is flatbed, right? Is is that is that That's the flatbed run? Okay, so this is flatbed. Is is that the same amount for all the other divisions as well, or are they different? No, 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 no. They're different. Um, uh, how often are you looking to be home? Let's start with that. Uh, well, I'm interested in being home every week. Okay, I got that. That's not a problem. And are you looking at drive in or reefer? Uh. I drove both of them. Which which one is which which one starts more? Reefer. Obviously, we're going to pay more for reefer than drive in because um, I everybody wants to do drive in. Um, drive in home every week is probably my lowest paying job. What's, um, what's that starts what's at fifty two cents a mile and then goes to a dollar a mile after two thousand. Yeah, reefer starts at fifty four cents a mile, but also goes to a dollar a mile after two thousand miles. Okay, within that mile run week. If I generate anything over two thousand miles, close up up to like twenty eight to like three thousand, it's a dollar per mile for each mile ran. After two thousand, yes. Uh, now let me ask you. Th now let me ask you this question, uh, I, I, and I know that you know money is a bit is a bit factor in you know in the decision making process. But how often are we able to, how often are we able to get those type of miles every week, though? My average home weekly driver can do 24 to 2,500 miles a week without even trying hard. Most guys can hit 2,000 miles within the first two to three days of running. 
The reason we offer that big bonus once you hit 2,000 miles is because we haul primarily food-grade product, and we're having to sell back. We're not getting enough loads moved at the end of the week, so we're having to sell back. That costs me more than, than what we want. So, obviously, we're gonna, we, we pay a bonus for drivers to run past 2,000 miles. It's an incentive to, to get you to run a little harder is what it is, to be perfectly honest. Okay. 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 Interesting. Interesting. All right. So how much? All right. So between, well, I'm, I'm assuming, uh, the, uh, drive in and the reef are probably the same amount of experience. How much experience do you need for, you know, like directly coming in to do flatbed? How, how much experience do you need for that? I'd be looking for at least six months flatbed experience, uh, to come in straight away. No training. Um, that's with anything, you know, six months of, of experience doing similar to what I'm asking you to do. Otherwise it would have to be some training. Okay. Awesome. Now that we got the pay and everything out of the way, um, this, this is straight W2, right? So what type of benefits? Correct. Do you, yeah, I don't. I, I, what, what type of benefits can you offer me? Because I noticed on the website that you guys have a premium. Is that premium paid by the company or or premium pay half by the company for yeah, 100% of the premiums for the health insurance, the dental insurance, prescription coverage, and life insurance, both for the driver and any dependents you may have. So if you're married or have children, they'd all be covered as well. We what's, cover all the premiums. Nothing comes in your check ever. What's the deductible on that though? Say for it, like me, I just, I just came out of the, out of the hospital uh, from a, a bout of pneumonia. So I had to go to the emergency room. So in that particular scenario, would uh, would there be a deductible? Uh, I know there, I know there's might be a copay or anything like that. But what about the deductibles though? Uh, for a single person, it's seven hundred and fourteen dollars a year. For a family, it maxes out at sixty eight hundred dollars. Okay. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Uh, all right. So you can get, you, you can get me home every week. If I, if I choose to, if, uh, if I decide to dry, uh, dry either, either the three divisions or would it just be the two divisions, the, 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 uh, drive in and the reefer that you'll be able to get me home every week. Could be any of my, as long as, where, where do you live in, in Ohio? Cleveland. You're up there a little bit, aren't you? In Cleveland, up towards the north end of it. Hold on a second. Let me double check, make sure my geography isn't off. I know for a fact I can get you home every weekend with reefer. Drive in would be a little bit more difficult. Flatbed would be more difficult. We do a lot of flatbed stuff across 70. Um, we do a lot of reefer stuff that goes right through your area because I'm doing a lot of reefer stuff out of. Uh, Newark, New Jersey. Uh, we're doing some stuff out of Hawthorne, New Jersey. All coming oh, right back it. by your place. Stop it! I got to go up into the, I got to go up into the Northeast. <laughs> no Only way! Only you reefer. If you go drive in, if you go drive in, I don't have anything out that way. Uh, flatbed, I do. Reefer, I do. Flatbed, everything is going to be a whole lot of west from where you're at. No way. I, I am not a fan. I'm, I am not a fan of the Northeast, my guy. Uh, but nah, but let me yet. but I'm let me ask either. you this. <laughs> let me ask you this though. Do, do do we get paid extra to go up into the Northeast though? I mean, I know we get that no, dollar. I, I know we get that, that Yeah, I know we yeah. get that extra dollar, but do we get anything extra extra for going up into the Northeast? No. Damn no, it. Uh -huh. damn. Then I might have to I, I might have to come home every other weekend then, huh? <laughs> well, I could do drive van home every weekend where you're at. It'd just be a little bit more difficult. I got a little less drive van freight your way. Okay. Okay. Uh the equipment. Uh if I'm not mistaken, Max Mac Anthems, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, the owner of the company owns Owns five Mac dealerships. All we do are run newer model back trucks. Wait, wait, wait. Back it up. Back it up. Wait. The owner of the company owns Mac dealerships. Are you serious? 
Five you can't, of them. You can't yeah, be serious period. right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, owns five of them. So that means if I want to transfer, let's just say I want to just stop driving and just hop into the dealership or or into the maintenance side of the dinner. I, I, I can do that. I can I can switch over if if possible. You you can. You'd have to relocate because he doesn't own one in in uh, in uh, Ohio. But yeah, you absolutely could do that. Yeah, we've had lots of we've got. Heck, I've got drivers I've hired. <laughs> um, some of them didn't even take them very long. Went from uh, driver to I've got one that's a fleet manager, one that works in the safety department now. Um, I've got a couple that are in the maintenance department. Yeah, I mean I hire drivers and they move on to other things all the time. Awesome, awesome. What's uh, now? Now that we got the equipment out the way, are, are they? Uh, do they come with driver cameras and what's the and what's the governing speed of the truck? The, the trucks are governed at uh, sixty-five mile an hour. But no, I don't have any driver facing cameras. Don't believe in them. If I got a babysit you, I shouldn't hire you. Oh, awesome. I like that. That 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 good answer. <laughs> good answer. I yes, like that right there. Uh is there a sign on bonus? Yeah, there's a two thousand dollar sign on bonus. We give you the first fifteen hundred in two two checks in your first two weeks, the last five hundred after you've been here for six months. Okay, that's even good too because we get paid out a little bit more. All right, so let's say I got a let's say now you said six months of of experience, but let's say well I I got plenty of buddies, so uh, but I got one that's coming out of the Tri C uh, Community College Trucking Academy. Uh, would you guys be able to bring him like directly from the school into the? in in into the uh into the company and be able to um if he were a little closer to quincy i could uh i don't have any open trainers right now we believe it or not that's there's trainees coming out of school right now are are booming we were getting more trainees than i've had in months we filled up our trainers just like just this week we, we got the last ones through orientation um so i don't have any open trainers right now and the ones i do have most of them live a little closer to us around uh, Missouri, uh, Illinois, Iowa area. So that means they, um, they would have to actually travel to them in order to get, in order to be on their truck with them, right? Um, well, they'd have to be willing to stay out the whole time for training for five weeks. Uh, we, we don't normally like to do that. We like our trainees to go home every weekend like most of our drivers. Um, if I, you know, I have had it where some people are willing to stay out for the whole time and then not go home until after they get issued their own truck, we could probably do that in some cases. Um, I'd have to, again, get that approved through operations and, and my supervisor, but it's possible. Okay. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much, man. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm going to go sure. ahead and take this back and uh, do a little bit more research and and uh and uh see see what's up but i got one last question um for the drivers sure that's uh you know that let's just say happen to have a scrimmage on their clearinghouse and they have to you know jump back into it do you guys uh do you guys hire you know do you guys hire sap graduates the sap out of the sap program of the clearinghouse they got to be clear of it for five years before my insurance company will cover you currently. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, thank you very much. I definitely appreciate it. How do you pronounce the company? It's Sharky, right? Shark, Sharky? Sharky, yep. Sharky. Okay. Yep, Sharky. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great day. Awesome. All right. So. There you have it, my guy. There you have it, Sharky. Uh, good information, good conversation. <clears throat> Come to find out that the owner owns the Mac dealerships, so he only got Max, and he only and he owns the Mac dealership. Go figure. That's what's up. That's what's up. Mac anthems, no driver facing cameras. Uh, now I'm going to assume. I know I didn't ask him, but I'm going to assume that you're able to take the truck home. All right. 
So you might be able to take the truck home. Make sure you make sure you ask them about that because that was one of the questions that I didn't get a chance to answer. But what you guys think in the comments below? Let me know what you think about this conversation right here. Um, a dollar a mile after 2,000 miles. So if you generate anywhere between uh, 2,000 to 3,000 miles, all miles is a dollar a mile. And that's on both uh, divisions. Well, actually all three divisions, the flatbed, divi the flatbed division, the reefer and the dry van. And I do believe, as he said before, because I asked him in the opening, uh, are you able to switch between divisions? And I believe you can. So six months experience, if you got that, if you got six, six months experience, they're located out of Illinois. I don't believe that this company is a black ops company, but like I said before, always do your research. Always do that. And um, and find out whether or not if this is a good company for you. All right. Get your suggestions in for the next call. Who's next? Who's next?